Hello everyone, this is Jelani from FightingWombat.com, and this is our new Let's Play of Final Fantasy Tactics, one of my all-time favorite games, possibly the game that got me into gaming. I'll be going um, solo this week on this Let's Play, and possibly throughout the entire season, maybe Andrew or someone else will want to jump in and help me out here, but for the most part I'll probably be by myself. Unless Andrew wants to do a co-op let's play where he takes a chapter. There it is, Final Fantasy Tactics. Without further ado, yeah, I get it. Um, we're playing this on a PSX emulator because it's really hard to get your hands on a PlayStation One. Not even sure if you'll be able to capture it with the um, our capture card. Hello, Alazam. Goes the mouse again. Important names pop up here. One is Delita, young man, I mean, young hero in the Delian War. Weird pronunciation of the name, I think it's Beowulf, or it could be arguably Beowulf, but there's a character name there's a character in the game named Beowulf, so that would just be confusing, so we'll just stick with Beowulf. When I was younger I pronounced it as Beloval, so I was way off. Blasphemer, okay, Anarchist, the root of all evil. Whoa. Shout out to Goblados Church for being the first cause of the well that escalated quickly. I mean the root of all evil, what what do you even do with that? Blasphemer, okay, he doesn't believe what you believe. Anar uh, anarchist, okay, he doesn't like society. He's he's Satan. Name and birthday. Usually I change it to my name because I'm egotistical like that, but for story's sake, I'll keep it Ramza. But I will change it to my birthday. Alright, so they're not just asking you for um, your birthday for no reason. There is an entire um, mechanic that go deals with the game that is based off the Zodiac. And that basically deals with how you're going to interact with other characters, rather whether you're fighting them or working with them. What it basically means is that you're going to want to affect characters that have um, high Zodiac compatibility with you, whether it be um, damaging or healing, or you're going to want to have um, enemy characters damaging you that have low Zodiac compatibility, so you'll take less damage. You don't need to know the exact Zodiacs that You'll have to know the exact zodiac signs and all of this to um, micromanage that point. Trust me, when you're in a fight, 
you, you'll know the difference between high zodiac compatibility and low zodiac compatibility, and there's just the normal average damage. Holy frame rate, Batman. I really hope you guys didn't have to see all that. Maybe you didn't even notice. So yeah, Final Fantasy Tactics is a um, turn-based RPG. It's like basically Final Fantasy meets chest, I would guess. Um, there are about 18 unique. I mean, not, there are 18 classes that an average character can get. There are also unique character classes, but we'll get into those a little bit later since we won't be getting many of those or in the beginning. And by the way, the game does not look like this. This is one of two cutscenes in the game, the entire game that have this sort of graphical design to it. The rest of the game has a complete and totally different art direction to it. But in both designs, none of them have noses. Don't know why, they just made them without noses. That's how the people of Ivalice went. A born monastery where it all begins. Okay, here we go. So Agrius and um, Gafgarian are t two powerful characters that you get into your party at a later time in the game, around chapter two in this first prologue battle. Gafgarion being a dark knight, Agrius being a holy knight, and they are part of the unique classes I was talking about earlier. Obviously set up, they don't like each other, but working towards a somewhat common goal. Nothing ever goes according to plan, does it? Is it always about money, Gafgarion? Really don't know why he's trying to prove himself to Gafgarion right now. I'm sure leaving the old priest and the um, wounded knight to guard the princess is a good idea. Nothing could possibly go wrong, right?
Yeah, so Goltana leads the other side. He leads the enemy side. We follow more of the Hokuten Knights and Prince Larg. More will be ex more of that will be explained later. Maybe it's a diversion. Not really. Not if you just, you know, don't fight them and let them go. You can hurt them really badly and let them crawl away. Oh, alright. So yeah, Gafgarion has this one move, Night Sword, where he drains an enemy's HP and replaces it with his own. I mean, heals his own. He also has another move, but he never really needs it. Alright. Oh goodness. I might have messed up with the Zodiac, but alright, here we go. We have a couple of things here. Um, in the bottom left hand, you see we have HP, MP, and um, CT. HP is your hit points, obvious, uh, basic. So MP are magic points, and CT is um, clock ticks. Cl when your clock ticks are determined by your your speed, uh, where is it? Yeah, speed. Um, Man, I wish there was a way for me to show it off here. Oh, that's not it. But your speed, when your speed starts, your speed starts filling up as your um, as turns go by. Characters whose speed fills up the fastest is um, determines who goes next. So the faster the character is, the more likely that he'll move. That he or she will move first. Sometimes the characters will speak out the incantations associated with their moves. It really does nothing to make it any more powerful, just seems to make it a little bit that much cooler. Yeah, I just got the first kill. Glazelis. <coughs> well, um, that's an unfortunate turn of events. Yeah, um, Head break just breaks your helmet, and that actually did a lot of indirect damage to me. Alright, what those chargers are doing, or uh, they're performing charge right now, it has nothing to do with um, using archery, it's just um, they're, loading up for a, and a, they're loading up for an attack that makes them a lot more stronger, it just takes time. Wizards and other uh, magic classes do this too, and also makes, it actually makes you a lot more vulnerable. Really? Why is everyone focused on me? This might be the only time someone loses their tutorial fight. It's basically impossible to lose this fight, but it, it might just happen to me now. Oh goodness. <laughs> no, I, ref I will not be the first person documented to ever lose this fight. I refuse. Alright, that's better. Someone heal me? No? Alright. Alright. See what Rams can do, shall we? Nope. Going after the healer. Agrius killed a chemist. Thank you. See, that's an example of good Zodiac compatibility right there. Why? Rad killed the archer. No? Alright.
This might actually be bad. Wait, I, I think we'll make it. <coughs> All right, yeah, we've t we've turned it around. By turn around, I mean we've saved the main character. I'm sorry. I'm still trying to get used to these emulator controls. Alright, I think we do here. Um, emulate. Oh goodness. Avoided it. Well. <laughs> oh, okay, I can't lose this. Never mind. I don't know what I was so worried about. That's the first time I've actually died during the um, tutorial battle, though. This might not be that good. Gafgarian killed a knight. Come close to it, at least. Yeah, her sta her stasis sword actually has an ability to. It has the potential to hit five enemies as long as they're in the um, right formation. Oh, what? It was a diversion? You've got to be kidding me. Who would have ever thunk? Some might call him unethical. Some might call him efficient. You decide. But it is clearly your fault. So yeah, that was Delita, and um, cle clearly him and Ramza have some history. The game has a few um, fixed text spaces or scenes like this. They're kind of what was that? They're kind of paced. It's weird and yeah, it just doesn't make sense. Soldiers who return from the no jobs. Little. have no clue why that one was like that. Rebels plotting rebellion. Yep, that's what they do. But we don't play the Rebels plotting rebellion art at these. We're more of the, um, we're the nobility, the royal stooges. Alright, Ivalice is the um, empire or continent, and Garland is just a province or country. I'm not sure how to break it down in there. Alright, and I'm going to cut it here for the video. See you guys next time.